Okay. This is probably going to be the last time I ride this bike of mine here. I wanted to get a film of it to compare against the new uh, bike I just uh, getting delivered tomorrow. So we'll see what the old blister here does in comparison. So we're just going to take a quick 20 minute ride or so. We'll see how it does. I hope this video turns out okay. Okay, so first thing we need to do is hook up our light, our front light here. Turn that on. Then we'll turn on our rear light here. Put it on police mode. We'll connect our battery for the motor here. We got 29.3 volts. We got a full charge. Got to take this off. I hope I remember where that is. Okay. Turn on the power. Check the tires are kind of low. I guess we'll find out if it works still. Seems to still work. There's lots of wind noise on this camera right now. Probably horrible wind noise, but that's all I've got, so. I'm gonna miss this bike. Six years I've ridden this bike. I made it myself, more or less, the electric editions. It was quite a challenge, but it's been fun.
might be my more it might be my last ride for more than one reason here if I don't get killed by somebody in a car. next to a six-lane expressway. There is a wall here preventing you from getting schmucked, but who knows. Along this roadway, it's so noisy, I decided to uh, remove the existing audio track and I'm just going to put in a little talk here. Hopefully it won't drive you all crazy. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is uh, this bike has no front suspension. And the pounding on my wrists is too much. At 63, I've had to concede that I have a joint problem at the base of my thumbs. It's called CMC. Uh, it's treatable but not repairable. It's not like you can get new thumb joints, at least uh, not in realistic terms. So. I've decided that I need a bike with a front suspension, which is one of the reasons why I bought a uh, new bike. At least those are the kinds of things one would tell one's spouse when you're spending upwards of $2,000 on essentially something that's fun. So that's what I've decided to do. And the sound will continue here in a few seconds as soon as we get past this really rough and nasty part. I'll uh, go back to the original soundtrack right about now. Just a little. down the hill. Whew, it's hot today. Almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees centigrade. No waves on the tennis courts today much. Take one lap. I like this as a little test track I found here. It's about 500 meters around. Oh, we got one little hill right here.
feels good. Can't beat those straight cut gears for making rapid. It's like I'm driving a barbecue rotisserie. Big stand's got low clearance. Okay. We'll cross over to a little quieter part here. Again, I decided that uh, why torture you guys with the sound of straight cut gears. That's another reason why I'm uh, not really impressed with my home built bike anymore. After six years of listening to those gears grinding, I decided maybe a hub motor would be better. And in fact, the whole world has decided that hub motors and uh, other types of motors are better than having an external motor chain driven. On the back wheel. You can watch my other videos if you're interested in how I made this bike. It's a little unusual in that it's a dual rear sprocket system with the motor being driven on the left side of the rear wheel and uh, it's chain driven and it uses a regular free wheel that I glued on a, a dual uh, threaded rear end uh, axle hub that you can buy inexpensively and I have other videos showing you how I did that if you're interested I don't think anybody is anymore after six years it's become obvious to me that no one is gonna build this type of bike except me so it's sort of the end of an era as far as bike building goes in this particular style you can still buy kits that sort of look like what I built but I think mine's better than the kit but it's a lot more work in that you have to re-spoke the rear wheel and do a whole bunch of messy stuff to get it to work. But it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it and I'm glad I did it. But after six years, I think it's time to break down and buy a hub motor bike. I couldn't afford a mid-drive and I know it puts wear and tear on the regular uh, free wheel that a lot of people don't understand it can just shred one of those if you're not careful who's shifting gears etc so I decided to go with the uh, rear wheel drive hub motor anyways I hope you've enjoyed this video it'll be over in a few minutes so bye bye for now
that's a wrap. That's probably the final ride I'll take on this bike.